How's it going, everybody? It is Ethan or Unknown Coder, and we are back with another episode and stream here on the Minecraft's uh, survival world. So it's actually been a minute since I've been on this world. So I think what I'm going to do this episode is I'm just going to go ahead and try to get my bearings back a little bit here. Let's see if we have any wheat. Um, I think this episode we are going to do, you know, just some caving and then maybe some talking it's probably gonna be more of like a, a talking type episode because i don't play on this world in over a week so i don't even like i don't really even remember what's going on so we're gonna do some caving like i said and then if i can think of some stuff to do while we're caving we will also go do that but um, my primary focus right now is to get more diamonds and to get more levels because i want to get suited up there's a bastion in the nether, literally like really close. So I'd like to go explore the bastion, but I would like to get all all diamond armor. That's all enchanted. Something else that I might want to do is I might try to find some, I might want to try to find some zombie villagers because I would like to go ahead and get I would like to go ahead and get villagers going, so that would be nice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some wood. I don't need a full stack. Is there any partial stacks? No partial stacks that I can see. Grab some wood. We're going to grab some coal. Stack is probably good enough. We have not great. So what? We were able to afford helmet leggings and chest plates so we definitely want to get some or definitely want some more diamonds so we're going to go ahead and go over to the project site i might do another time lapse of clearing some more space out we're going to have to make another chest for wood but we can do that we can fix that up then we're going to go back to the project site we're going to do some caving i might just do some time lapse type caving where i speed through and show you guys what I collect on the way. I'm gonna do some, maybe some cave lighting up, maybe some branch mining. We'll see. I definitely need diamonds, so I'm thinking maybe we'll do strip mining. So I'm gonna do that for probably like an hour or so. And then I'll let you guys see anything that we find that's interesting. Um, if I end up talking about something here on the stream that I think should maybe go into the video, I'll add that in. Probably going to be a shorter video unless I figure out some building. But for now, we really just need to get armored up. Then we go to the nether. We also need a, some villagers. So possibly what we can do is we can continue working on getting more materials. Maybe some iron. So we can make minecarts. And maybe next episode we'll go exploring to go find a village. Or I'll try to keep my eyes open for a, a zombie villager. With that being said, I think that I am going to go ahead and do some caving for a little bit. Get that up, show you guys what I get, and then I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. If I see a zombie villager. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. Pretty good. More. Oh, I'm gonna die. Need to go eat. Why is there not more? Um... No, up it. Why is there not any zombie villagers? All these, dude. Uh oh. got the bat. Need new arm so badly. Oh, well, they were gonna find everything is cracking. The amount of mobs I'm fighting is literally just caving can literally just be my entire episode. Skeleton. 
and a creeper. Here. I'm dead. All my torches blew up. Oh, I'm dead, boys. Dead. No. Oh my goodness. I'd really like to save that zombie villager, but I don't know if I can. Mobs are right here. If even to even hold anything. We're okay for now. Will you hold blocks? I'll have to kill them. I don't have a name tag on me. Can do it. Could be helpful. Now oh, those two guys did. Other trucker. Trying to itch my face and fight mobs. Not working out. Probably a dumb move. Torches. Bastard. I'd fight me. Piece of my arm broke. I have a mod installed that increases your f FPS. I don't know how it works, but like you can get insane FPS with this mod. Before I ran this mod, I was getting like barely 60, dude. So I bet you could have played Minecraft. Let's go diamonds, finally. Too bad I don't have fortune. Well, got my pickaxe back. Most expensive PC. Are you talking about like gaming wise or just like in general? Because I mean, oh, there's another one. You can build like an expensive ass like computer that wouldn't even be like that great for gaming. What's up, everybody? We are back with another clip here. So, this is what we got from our mining expedition. We got six diamonds. I grabbed the other two from our chest, but we're gonna make some boots. As well as another pickaxe. Um, and then we got all this iron, some gold, and some redstone. Got a chat question I gotta answer here in a second. I'll get to that. Put this stuff away. And I wanna do some enchanting really quick as well. Let's go ahead and throw this stuff away. And I actually wanted to talk about what Trevor asked about here in the chat. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, I am last year right now. So, since Trevor brought it up in chat, I'm going to go ahead and speak about this. So, today on Monday, it's actually the 15th, I did start my first job. So, um, I'm working for a company called Reviture. They are a consulting agency or a software engineering consulting firm, I guess you could say. Pretty much what they do is they hire people that are say just out of college and they need experience or say you um you went to school for something that wasn't computer engineering or software engineering but you end up like liking coding or something or you like started self coding stuff like that or you've been out in the field in a different job and you like want to switch so pretty much what Reviture does protection through is they hire people that 
I'm gonna grab this really quick. Depth Strider three. That's gonna make, and it's only Depth Strider, of course. They hire people that maybe don't need have as much experience. You do a ten week training, which is what I just started today, and you. Bro, why only I'm bringing? Do a ten week training, like I started today, and you learn all the stuff that you need to learn, and then the companies or the clients you interview with the clients, and pretty much they put in bids, and there's a ranking system. So there we go, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. So the higher you rank. We need Anvil, don't we? The higher you rank, pretty much. I think I'm going to put a pause on this for a second. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go get some more levels from down below. And we're going to get this diamond chest plate enchanted. Because we're really close. Unfortunately, this is just Depth Strider. And maybe we can get some books that are better as well. Let's see what this book is. Section 3. I mean, I might take some of those books. I think we're going to get some levels here. And I'm going to see if I can remember what I was talking about. Put this back. Let's run downstairs. So pretty much, um, you'll do a 10-week training like I was talking about. And then you move on. To a staging process and pretty much depending on how you rank in your class you'll get interviewed so the first companies that need people or whatever they're at the top of the list and the higher you rank then the better the company or um, the higher you rank then the, the more you'll get interviewed and stuff like that so pretty much you want to try to do as good as you can in the class yeah and then you get placed anywhere best fortunately for me anyway since last March, they haven't really even been moving people, so you can get placed pretty much anywhere in the U.S. So, luckily for me, they haven't been moving people because of the pandemic. And the the guy I talked to today said that they're even possibly thinking of um, not even some of the companies are thinking about just letting people work from home from now on. So I could be working from home for the foreseeable future. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to get some levels here and I'm going to try to finish getting enchanted so I'll see you guys in a little while. Alright we got just enough levels to another level 30. So I was looking at the and there's either thorns 2 or protection 3. I'm going to take the protection 3 and put it on the chest plate here. So now we need an anvil. I don't think this should be too expensive. But now we at least have a set of armor that's okay. It's not great. Unless this is a really good enchantment on this is protection four. Breaking three or piercing four. So I'm gonna go ahead and put protection three. Not great, but we protection combine it with the protection or whatnot but let's go ahead and grab this iron need to go ahead and it's three of these right or is it four feels like this right anvil there do we have more nope but we can throw some Perfect. Melt this stuff up real quick. I kind of want to talk a little bit. I think I want to talk about the temple, but I'm not really sh. So now we got this. I'm assuming that it shouldn't be expensive to do this. Now we at least have a decent set of armor. 
we're going to I will go ahead and keep trying to get levels and stuff to put on here but for now that'll do and let's go ahead and pickaxes put these together hopefully it's not too expensive now we got a fortune pickaxe so now next episode we can go into the nether we can grab a bunch of quartz probably going to be the but I think I want to use um quartz in so there's another protection here so go ahead and do that this will be well worth it right there so um I think that what I'm going to do now I'm gonna grab or wood. I think actually we left the wood over there. Grab some coal. We're gonna run over to the other site. We're gonna do some more work over there. I'll be right back. We are back at the old uh, build site with the uneven circle that is super annoying. But I'm not really sure what else to do this episode. I kind of kind of got what I wanted accomplished. I wanted to get more diamonds. I don't know why that's popping up. That's annoying. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you guys something, but I decided not to. I want to keep it. Aside. But I wanted to get more diamonds. I wanted to get fully diamond out. As you can see, we are pretty much diamond out. I'm just using up these last these tools, and all I need to really do now is try to get some more diamonds. So kind of wanted to talk about um, how my vacation went and stuff like that. So obviously, guys. Um, don't know this yet, but the next, this week there's no videos, so today is Monday the 15th, so today there's not a video, and on Friday I think is when I upload Minecraft, there won't be a video as well, as because I went on vacation. So I went to Mexico, and like as you guys know, we are building a Mayan Mayan um, style temple over here at our um, at our build site I actually got to go see some ruins and it actually is like super inspirational and it makes me want to do even more research so what I'm what I'm probably planning to do is to do some more research and I'm maybe thinking instead of like I'm kind of entertaining the idea of instead of just straight up making like a bunch of like jungle jungle trees and stuff around I kind of want to make a Mayan style city, except not ruined. It's like, I don't know, I'm really fascinated with the Mayan people. Whenever we went to the temple, we didn't go to Chichen Itza. Next time we go to Mexico, we are going to Chichen Itza. But it's one of the seven wonders of the world. But we went to another one called uh, Ekpalam. It's actually taller. Well, the temple itself, not the. So Chichen Itza was like one of the, the bigger Mayan cities, so that's why it's so popular and what everyone thinks is Chichen Itza associate. It's actually a temple that they associate with Chichen Itza and I don't I don't remember what the, the castle or the temple is actually called. No, it's El Castillo Steel or something. It's like castle of something. But and that temple is what I was basing our Mayan temple off of as well but um, I've been watching a lot of documentaries since going to Ekpalam and I was saying that Ekpalam is actually t the the temple itself is actually taller and wider than temple at Chichen Itza but when we were there I was I really struck my interest I've done a bit more research and I've watched some documentaries and stuff I think it might be cool to actually kind of build like build the same type of jungle that I wanted to build originally, but also maybe build some Mayan style cities. So like do some more research, figure out how the Mayans like built their cities and stuff and build a city that is like kind of raised up, has temples, stuff like that. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about that idea. Um, I don't really got much else to do this episode except for cave. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the stream running, of course. I think I'm going to go ahead and 
end the episode here. I'm gonna finish up some caving here. It'll be off camera for you guys anyway. Yeah, so I want you guys to stew on that. What do you guys think about going along with the temple right in the middle of the jungle possibly building a mayan type ruined settlement except it wouldn't really be ruined it'd just be uh, kind of overgrown and stuff and then have the jungle all around it just i don't know there's just something about how the ruined cities looked whenever they're only half taken over by the jungle i mean the, the mayan people are just they're just super interesting because they were one of the biggest civilizations Pretty much in the world, and then all of a sudden they just disappeared and just left everything. It's crazy because no one really knows the exact reason. Probably never will know the. That's just really that's why they really fascinate. Me. But like I also said, I have work now, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep trying to have these videos up on time. However, I may need to. Start maybe skipping streams, maybe only in Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll see how editing goes. I know I'm going to have quite a bit of stuff to edit out because we did caving this episode and I dealt with mob stuff like that. So hopefully also this isn't dark. I've just been trying to dig all the way to 128. Faster dig straight to 128. But pretty much what I'm going to do from now until the end of this stream to do some strip mining here at Y level 12. Hopefully I don't run into too many caves. I really just want to. If I do find diamonds here near the end of the episode, I'll definitely show you guys. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. And barring finding any diamonds, this is going to be wrapping up this episode. It's been Ethan for Unknown Coder. Hope you guys all have a great day, great night, morning, and I will see you guys next episode after we murk this zombie. Sixty, phase it.